What is up everybody and welcome to Heat D of Robomania. Now this is Game and Soy and I am really excited for this heat. For the, the last heat, this is going to be before the Robomania finals. And I'm going to introduce every single one of these robots that are fighting today. It is going to be eight robots, and I'll list them all right now. It is going to be between Lava Tank, Sabertooth, Grinder, Ripper, D Sector, Fire Tide, Terror, and Butter. <laughs> this is going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome one. And I, I just want to jump right into it. I don't want to do anything else, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up and let's just get into our first fight. This first match is between Lava Tank and Sabertooth. And this first match is between Lava Tank and Sabertooth, like I said before. I'm really excited about this one. This one is should be over. Sabertooth is already getting wrecked, if you will. Um, <laughs> it's it's going to be over pretty fast. Sabertooth isn't a very good robot. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. Just like that. And this next match has begun. It is between Grinder and Ripper. These are two robots that are very interesting to watch, mainly because they both are very, they're very, they're, they're very weird <laughs> to describe. Uh, Grinder is a robot that has two spinning blades in the center, and Ripper, of course, is the one with the two, or not the two, the single blade, the vertical blade, and. Um, I really don't know who to say would win. My guess is Ripper is going to come out on top of this one based off of... Oh, he's flipped inside of the the spinning blade and it has been released, but Grinder has been flipped. So this is interesting to see. Um, like I was saying before, I don't really think I would know who to expect to win out of this. Grinder is flipped and cannot be unflipped, so it's pretty much just a sitting duck right now. I'm not exactly sure what Ripper is doing right now. We're switching cameras. Ripper is on its back as well, so they're both flipped upside down, and they both can't do anything right now. So this this is very interesting to watch. Grinder may be getting counted out soon because it's been staying in one spot for a while. Let's flip sides. Oh, this is very interesting. They're both flipped up, upside down, and they're both not doing anything to each other. Uh, Ripper is like moving a little bit somehow, somehow in some way. Uh, Grinder has stopped moving. Let's go over to that side. Grinder has stopped moving, and the countdown has begun. If this gets down to zero, then Grinder is eliminated and is losing to the going to the losers bracket. But it is now moving, and it is eliminated. Grinder goes into the losers bracket as Ripper moves on into the next round. Alright, we're in our next match, and this is going to be a very interesting one. It is between D Sector and Fire Tide. Fire Tide is a spinning robot, and D Sector is a hammer robot with two hammers on top. Oh man, there's already something. There's an explosion already happening, and I think that is Fire Tide that is on fire. Fire Tide, ironically, is on fire, and um, has a lot of damage taken already. Uh, I expected D, uh, D Sector to make it far. And it is over. D Sector has moved on into the next round as Fire Tide goes down into the loser's bracket. And our next match has begun. It is between Terror and Butter. Now, both these robots are very interesting to describe. Butter is a robot that is. It's a butter. It looks like a piece of butter. And Terror obviously looks like it's terrifying, so the name sits. Uh, fits it very well. Uh, Terror is a spinning robot with many weapons on top. It can't move very well, unfortunately. Butter is the exact opposite. It has one weapon. Also can't move very well. Uh, you guys can kind of see based off of it spinning in circles. Uh, it can't drive straight. That's the f fun fact about Butter. It cannot drive straight. It has to loop around until it actually hits its opponent. Alright, so both the robots are just kind of sitting around it's very interesting to watch how this one's going Terror is losing balance but it keeps losing balance it can't it can't stay upright the center blades have dropped there's a minute 58 left butter comes in with a strong attack butter is an interesting robot I actually made it just because I was I was bored and I'm, I wanted to make a funny robot that I didn't think would get far at all, and I still don't think Butter is going to get very far. It's ranked 22 overall, so that, that says something about Butter. 
Butter isn't a great robot, but Butter could definitely take this win today, I believe. Terror, on the other hand, I believe if Terror can move well, then it's a good robot, but I don't think Terra could come out and win against Butter if it's if it can't move. It's currently winning in points, the game points, but that's that means nothing really. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like this one's gonna come down to a judge's decision if nothing else moves on. But Butter takes a big blow by the spinning blade. We're gonna switch views every once in a while. It's a very interesting fight because Butter. <laughs> Butter could oh is why whoa whoa that guy just goes far whoa okay I didn't expect that to happen but butter is a very interesting designed robot because it can actually fit underneath the spinning blades of terror how I don't know oh there's a flipper right there that's scary okay this is a very interesting match just 37 seconds bow oh, gosh terror was flipped not butter this is a very interesting match it's down to 30 seconds. Uh, both robots don't have much damage, unfortunately. I kind of wanted to see an all-out brawl today. But who knows what we'll be seeing next. Oh, Terror keeps getting flipped by the flippers. Very interesting to watch. But who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Terror does have a lot of damage. That it looks like it has a lot of damage. <laughs> but it is doing more moving. Butter was actually just flipped right now. And is getting hit pretty hard. And Butter is now flipped with one second left. The match is over. It is going into a judge's decision. The judge's decision is in, and it was quite a simple one, actually, to be honest. Terror has moved on into the next round as Butter falls into the loser's bracket and has lost this match. Alright, we are in our second round of the tournament of Heat D, and it is between Lava Tank and Ripper. Ripper beat Grinder and Lava Tank beat Sabretooth, and this one actually looks like it is over. Ripper has lost. <laughs> Lava Tank moves on into the finals of Heat D. Alright, this match is going to be very interesting. It is between D Sector and Terror. Terror is a, a very interesting robot that actually won based off of a judge's decision last fight. Uh, D sector one based off of a knockout and once those spinning blades are moving it's hard to get underneath but it's definitely gonna be hard for D sector to get past this guy oh oh my and was actually flipped in the process alright this is actually going to be a very good fight it's gonna look like guys D sector trying to line up with terror to get a good hit but it's kind of hard to get past that shell of terror oh but flipped flipped terror and is now swinging the axes. It doesn't seem like he's getting many good hits in though. Oh, a few good hits. D Sector is flipped and has moved across the arena. This is an interesting fight, guys. I think D Sector is going to have this one. Either way, judge's decision or knockout. I believe D Sector is going to take it. Who knows? Who knows though? Terror just has to get a few good spins in and it's going to it's going to look weird. But, it looks like D-Sector can't move straight anymore. It looks like a wheel is actually damaged for D-Sector. So, this is this is a very interesting fight already. There's a minute 30 remaining. And, I, I still think D-Sector is going to come out on top. But, however, I think... Oh, somebody's on fire. I don't know who that is. I think that's Terra who's on fire. Somebody's getting counted out. Oh, man, this is a good fight, guys. It is definitely Terror who's on fire. Terror is taking a lot of the damage today. This is a very interesting fight to see. Alright, so it looks like both D Sector and Terror are on fire now. This is going to go into one of the, the final seconds of this fight. Oh man, D Sector is also hurting right now. D Sector is on fire, Terror is on fire, there's smoke everywhere. Oh, D Sector threw Terror in the. Oh! <laughs> I did not see that coming. D Sector threw Terror in the spinning blade, but then got flipped. Oh, this is a very interesting fight, guys. It's 34 seconds remaining. Oh, Terror is flipped. Can't move, it looks like. And is destroyed in the process. Wow, what a good fight. D-Sector moves on into the finals against Lava Tank. 
for the Heat D champion. Alright guys, we are in our finals of the Heat D. It's going to be Lava Tank versus D Sector. I'm really excited for this one. This is going to be an intense fight. I believe Lava Tank is going to take this one by a lot in my opinion, but who knows how this is going to end. Lava Tank is just an, a strong robot who has a lot of courage, but D Sector is coming out firing very crazy. Uh, this is this is going to be an interesting fight. Oh, D Sector went somewhere. D Sector, they, whoa, he just flew. He just flew across the map. Oh my goodness. D Sector actually lost. Uh, not D Sector. Lava Tank lost its spinning blade. It has one spinning blade left, and if it doesn't have that spinning blade, then this match is going to go D Sector's route. Oh, uh, this is awesome. This is an awesome fight. <laughs> T Sector went flying and that kind of distracted me. I was very I was very confused about where T Sector went. <laughs> Just disappeared. Uh interesting fight though, needless to say. Fire tank is looking scratched up. D Sector loses a wheel. Oh, this is very good to watch. Fire tank pushes D Sector into the spinning blade and is pushing itself back into the spinning blade actually. All right, this looks good, guys. This is a good-looking fight. Oh, Lava Tank's getting pushed, mad into the spinning blade. All right, this is an interesting fight to see. Needless to say, Lava Tank is actually carrying D Sector half the time, but D Sector seems to be getting obliterated. Uh, this is a very awesome fight. Oh, D Sector is actually caught up against the wall. There's a minute 15 left on the clock. At a minute, the flippers start to flip. So let's see if any of these robots are actually caught on the flipper when it actually starts to flip. And it looks like Lava Tank is going to be... Oh, but sit really close gets off. That was a close one by Lava Tank. There's 55 seconds remaining. Oh, D Sector is on fire and it looks like he can't move. Ooh, this is a good fight. Ooh. Ooh, all the ooze guys, all of the ooze. D Sector gets destroyed with 43 seconds remaining. Lava Tank moves on into the championships, and D Sector goes into the loser's bracket. Alright, and this is the first loser's bracket fight. It is between Sabretooth, Grinder, Fire Tide, and Butter. This is going to be a very, very interesting fight, needless to say. Grinder is flipping out. I don't know what's happening to Grinder right now. <laughs> Grinder is going places. Sabretooth is upside down, spinning around. Fire Tide and Butter are hugging against the wall. This is definitely a loser's bracket fight, to say the, to say the least. <laughs> uh, I don't think any of these robots deserve a spot in the championship. If anything, I believe Butter does, just because it has a great name. Grinder is being counted out. The first two robots that are eliminated or destroyed in this match are going to be eliminated from the tournament. Butter is upside down being counted. Grinder is eliminated. Butter is getting counted out. Three, two, one. It is over for Butter. Fire Tide and Sabretooth move on into the next round of the loser's bracket. Alright, our second match has begun. It is between Sabretooth, Fire Tide, Ripper, and Terror. Uh, Sabretooth and Fire Tide have moved on from the first round. And it looks like Sabretooth is getting wrecked right now by Ripper and is almost destroyed and is destroyed. Sabretooth is out and we're moving on to the final fight of the elimination round. And our final match of the regular season has begun, and Ripper, to start off, Ripper's blade was destroyed in the first hit of the game. Now keep in mind, the two robots that are eliminated are going to be out of the tournament for good, and the two that win are going to be the finals of the Robomania and be with Lava Tank with, in the finals. Ripper has lost its only weapon, so... It's going to be interesting to see how Ripper is going to get through. Whoa, what? D Sector has just been eliminated. Just flipped across the arena. D Sector is eliminated. It is between these three robots now. D Sector was eliminated intense. 
Wow, I did not expect that to happen. Just flipped out of the arena somehow. I think by Fire Tide's spinning blade. He got a really good hit and caused the caused D Sector to get flipped out of the arena. Fire Tide is, however, on fire. And the spinning blade has been released in the center of the arena. Terror is on top of Fire Tide and has destroyed him. The two robots that move on are Ripper and Terror. Alright, and just like that, these three robots, Lava Tank, Ripper, and Terror, move on into the finals of Robomania Season 2. Guys, Heat D was intense, and I did not expect any of this to happen besides Lava Tank. So, upset central here, we got the number 3 ranked Lava Tank, the number 11 ranked Terror, and the 19 ranked Ripper moving into the finals. Wow, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm clustered right now. I can't, I didn't, I can't even, I'm flustered. Flustered. I don't even, I'm trying to come up with a word right now, but I can't. So, with that being said, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. And the next episode that you guys will see is going to be the first finals of Robomania. And you guys will see how that's going to be played in the actual episode that gets released. But just for now, I want you guys to leave in the comments below who you think is going to be the ultimate champion of Robomania. I want to see what you guys think. But needless to say, I'm going to end the episode here. This was Game & Soy. Peace out.